figured I should start a series where I just make updated class setups so you guys can see what I'm currently running in case you are interested in knowing exactly what I'm using on my weapons at the moment. So let's get on with the class setup. So I'm using the FSS 12.4 inch Predator. This one's going to give us that sound suppression and aim down sight speed. I'm a solo player, so having that sound suppression is definitely important to me because I don't want the enemies to know exactly where I'm at at all times when I'm using my weapon. Now for the optic, this is optional, but me personally, I feel like using the GI mini reflex or any kind of sight that you like to use on this weapon definitely does help you aim in a little bit better and give you a more accurate shot because of that little dot in the middle. It allows you to just be able to focus in on your target. Now for stock, I'm using the no stock attachment. Now the reason why I'm using no stock specifically for this class setup is because it's supposed to counteract the negatives that are seen on the 50 round magazines which is your aim down sight speed as well as your movement speed so it basically negates these negatives that you get from the 50 round mags so for our last attachment we got in the rear grip this is the stippled grip tape this one will increase your aim down sight speed further helping us mitigate those negatives as seen on the 50 round magazine and it will also increase your sprint to fire speed so for perks this is personalized to me i personally don't like dying to a lot of explosives or being seen on the enemy mini map when they call in a uav for tracker this really helps me flank around the map and spot enemies in my area because it literally shows me their footprints and all you got to do is just follow it and it'll lead to the easy kill that's why i'm using eod ghost and tracker then for my lethal i'm running with a c4 this is very helpful in numerous situations whether an enemy is camping in a window or i'm trying to lob a c4 over an object to be able to help me win that gunfight if i don't have time to reload now for tactical i'm using stim shot this will help me recover a lot faster after i've been hurt or if i'm trying to have more confidence to go back to the gunfight a little bit quicker versus the person who is still healing up i've definitely got the upper hand in that situation and i'm going to be showing you guys in the next segment a play-by-play -play of how i exactly do well in multiplayer if you want me to keep posting breakdown videos like this let me know in the comments below and leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here if you want to make your way back to the channel and i will see you guys in just a little bit all right so kicking things off here we're spawning in from the a flag i believe that's the a flag so usually on this end of the map when i spawn here i like to run down through the ruins and i'm gonna take a peek right here i'm gonna aim down sides i see somebody with a sniper and i see another guy and i'm gonna try and challenge this man if he's still there and he's not there anymore there's a guy at the window and that's when i decide that you know it's not a good idea for me to push especially since this m4 class setup is better when you're in that medium long range all right so let me uh back it up right here i just want to point out something when i came through the cafe at the bottom let me pause it right here so as you can see that's why it's very important to be doing things like drop shotting if you don't know how to drop shot please watch my new best settings video on how to configure controller settings so that you can be able to drop shot for situations such as this so this guy had absolutely no idea he's standing up he's running through this door and i'm over here crouched ready to go for that drop shot and he has no idea what's coming and i get the easy kill now i didn't i know i didn't do a full drop shot there but you get the idea still the same concept so i do see some footprints um surveying the situation i'm not gonna push that guy because I know it's dangerous to go out there and unfortunately i get killed right there these things are gonna happen but you know the whole point of this video is to show you that yes you will die but you can come back from it and do well at the end if you just stick to the plan so here i am again i'm watching my lines of sight i do see somebody right there and i toss a c4 because i did see somebody across the other side of the wall and i'm stim shotting i'm looking around I'm seeing what I can do in this situation. Now, let me pause it right here. Now, the reason why I'm hesitating to move forward with my plan is because look at where my teammates are right now. So we got four teammates here and we got one teammate on this side. So there's not really too much ground being covered on this area of the map. So pretty much in front of me and to my right. So it wouldn't really be a smart choice if I were to just push up ahead because more likely than not, there's going to be a ton of enemies waiting for me and I'm just going to be dying unnecessarily let's go ahead and continue the footage now i believe i am going to put on my dead silence uh just so that they don't hear my footsteps because like i said there's most likely going to be enemies so i did crack the dead silence on i'm pushing up towards cafe i'm pre-aiming 
and I do come up on a flank and just as I suspected and what I just demonstrated earlier how all my teammates are on this area of the map essentially in front here uh, where the spawn is so that must mean that there's going to be enemies on the opposite side and that's how we're able to get this guy for the easy kill so at the same time I did approach very cautiously I put on my dead sound so that he's not able to sound horn me because the area that the enemies are at right now is very quiet they're waiting as well so my footsteps are going to be magnified so here I get lucky with that uh, kill I had no idea someone was in there but he did have his little flying saucer out and the EOD perk definitely saved my life so now I've got a good vantage point of the market because I see tons of enemies in this area and I heard that guy's footsteps behind me again I have dead silence it definitely makes it easier to hear people's footsteps now again like I said the drop shot is very important and as you can see right there I got the easy kill so again I'm surveying the situation I'm being patient here nothing's really unfolding in front of me I see some footprints but teammate took them out now I do see this guy on my mini map so I'm just gonna wait patiently for him now that's the key in modern warfare you have to be patient you can't just run after it because as you can see hold on let me let me back this up a little bit right before he comes out he's creeping he's crawling as you can see he came from a crouch he was trying to sound whore and that's exactly why imagine if i did rush i probably would have died so here i have my vtol so this is obviously a good thing i'm gonna call it in so i'm pre-aiming i'm still waiting i'm waiting for the situations to unfold i see some action going on across the uh, cafe rooftops teammate just died so there is somebody eyeing that area so i'm gonna avoid that at all costs and I'm going to jump over the rooftop because, like I said, I want to avoid that situation. I'm going to try to get an angle on this guy. And unfortunately, he got me. You know, that guy was a pretty deep, decent sniper. So, But nonetheless, we're still back on the grind. Vito's getting us some kills. So I'm going to be pushing towards the back alleyway and into this house. And I'm going to pre-aim here first uh, just to see if the enemies are coming out of their spawns. I hop up this wall and we do come up on an enemy. Now I turn on my dead silence, take out that enemy there. So here I see some footprints. I know that there's enemies around me. They're pretty fresh. So I'm going up. I'm trying to see where they're coming from again with the drop shot. Now see what I did here. Let me show you something real quick that you guys can implement into your game. So this is a situation called the pop out or something pump fake, or whatever. So the guy backs out. Now, what I do is I lunge forward and I simultaneously shoot at the same time. So here we go. I'm going to pop forward, boom, and get the easy kill. I knew that guy was reloading and he was potentially hurt. So I wanted to get the jump on the guy. Dude, there's so many footprints everywhere. Which one should I go for first? Now, I do take cover by going down the stairs and then momentarily stem shot. I see somebody coming up here. Now, notice how I just did not decide to engage in the guy that I actually got a hit marker on back in their spawn. Instead, I'm going up here. I'm retreating because I know that they're coming after me. There's a guy down there. I'm going to throw a C4. Unfortunately, I didn't get the kill. So now I'm wondering, where did this guy go? So I'm going to investigate. I've got my dead silence on. He can't sound whore me. He doesn't know where my footsteps are coming from. I do see some footprints again. He most likely went upstairs. Let's check it out and there he is running across the bridge another thing that i want to point out is that notice how my movement when i'm moving around corners i'm sliding you should definitely get used to that sliding around corners definitely is useful because the more you slide around corners just like that the more unpredictable your movement is and you know like i said earlier in the gameplay you could come up on enemies that just didn't expect you to be there so here we go we got some guy camping over there now we're back on a streak we've got our VTOL and I'm going to safely call it in in this area again I want to keep the momentum going and keep applying pressure to my enemies now I do see an enemy on top of the cafe rooftops but unfortunately I decided that he's not going to pop out anymore so I don't want to waste my time you know when you're aimed in on somebody don't aim in for too long I have a bit of a three to five second rule if they don't pop out then forget it all right so here I've got the uh, market rooftops now I'm transitioning to the cafe I do get an easy kill here now let me back it up real quick 
So the reason why I decided to push this area uh, on top of the rooftops here is because I knew that the guy that was previously there that I wasn't able to get is still there. And I've got my veto up. If I was the enemy, I would definitely be hiding as well. And plus, I believe during the gameplay, I did hear a door close. So that's why I decided to push and go in for the surprise. Boom. And he is dead. So those are little things that you have to think about in the game. You know, what would you do if you were the enemy, if you had a VTO out? I see that guy from distance, can't get him. I see the guy down here and I'm just going to wait patiently and get the easy kill. I have the advantage as my position is on high ground and he should have a more difficult time aiming it on me because of that. Now let's pause it right here. Now I'm about to push into their spawn for a number of reasons. I'm looking at how many kills I need left to get my advanced UAV. So this is where I tend to switch up my play style and the momentum that I'm moving uh, depending on how many more kills I need for the next kill streak. Also, I do see some activity here on my compass. So that tells me that there's got to be enemies here. And another indicator is that look at where my teammates are. They're all on the other side of the map. There's not too much going on over there. So what does that mean? There must be some enemies over here in this area spawning in, which is where they're spawning in from. So I'm going to make that decision to go ahead and push really soon. So I take out that guy because I saw that my enemy died and he was engaging in a gunfight. So I'm pushing. I'm being cautious. I go ahead. Okay, let me back that up real quick. So before I enter this area, because I know that this is where we're most likely going to see some enemies. And on top of that, I also did hear his footsteps. So I was sound whoring. So I pre-aim here and that puts me in a good position. Now I've got the advanced UAV. Now it's pretty much I'm just looking at those Doritos on the minimap or those little puff balls, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just playing it safe so far because I know exactly where they're coming from. They don't know where I'm coming in from. So that's my advantage. Easy kills. Another one at the ruins. Now I'm not going to push that guy. He knows I'm there. I accidentally pick up a different gun. So I'm trying to move and unfortunately I died. So in that situation, there's nothing really much that I could do because that's where they were rapidly spawning in from. And I made a mistake here. You know, I picked up the weapon on accident. I have contextual tap on in my settings. So as you can see on the minimap, they did spawn here. And I was well aware of that as well. That's why I slid. But apparently it wasn't enough. Of course, I'm upset about that. So I'm going to throw a C4 here because I couldn't get the angle on the guy. As you can see, if we back it up. This is a position where if I were to pop up again with my M4, I would definitely be outgunned because there were two enemies there. So you have to think fast in these situations. So instead, I'm just going to throw my C4 because that is my favorite lethal in the game and a, a lethal that you guys should consider using as well. So here we go again. We got someone down the middle. I saw his gunfire on the compass. Let me just rewind that. You know, I just want you guys to be able to see why I know exactly where to look at all times. Watch, watch the compass right there. Boom. The more I turn, the more it directs me to where that fire is coming from. So I just make the connection and I kill the guy that's running out there. So I'm taking cover. I'm being shot here. I'm going to close the door here in a second uh, just to make it a little bit harder. I do see someone coming into this house. I do play a little aggressive here. I get the easy kill and I believe there is one more guy that I missed and that was the guy that actually went upstairs, the one that I was initially going for. So that was an error on my end. You know, I make mistakes as well and hopefully you can learn from my mistakes by watching my gameplay and my breakdowns. So I do take that, take out that guy right there. I was very confident in that gunfight. Normally I wouldn't engage, but he was standing out in the middle in front of the door. So I figured it was fair game, you know, it was either him or it was me. So now I'm seeing this guy behind me. So let me back this up. This is actually something that probably got him scratching his head. So I have dead silence on right now. The game sounds are definitely dampened and the only thing I can really hear is the enemy right now. I hear footsteps behind me. I quickly turn around and I pre-aim to engage in the gunfight and boom, the guy is taken out. I'm sure he was wondering how the hell did I know that he I was right behind him. But you know what? That's why Dead Silence is a powerful field upgrade. And it's actually the fastest field upgrade that you can earn in the game if you didn't know. Now, I did come up on a kill here and I decided not to push. I wanted to call my UAV in first. 
uh, because that's a smarter thing to do, you know, especially since we're pretty much in an area where enemies are likely to be spawning in. That is the end of the match. I did die a couple times. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these breakdown videos. You know, I hope that this helps bring to light, you know, some questions you may or may not have had. There it is, the final score, 36 kills and 5 deaths with a 7.20 KD ratio outlining how exactly i did this just by playing smart no camping involved and just trying to predict the enemy's movements and using a lot of the elements of the game to my advantage don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy this video it would really mean a lot to me and subscribe if you're new around here for more videos like this and you want to make your way back to the channel you don't want to miss another video make sure you turn on notifications and i'll see you guys in the next video peace